What's up guys, it's Lomas Versus here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to blend in GIMP, so let's go ahead and get started. So first to blend in GIMP, you are going to want to choose this pencil tool right here and pick your color that you want to blend with. So I'm going to pick dark brown to go with this light brown right here. And as you can see, I drew a little person. It's a Minecraft person, but I drew it with my mouse. I'm not like a professional or anything, obviously. Anyway, so we are going to draw like a little square here on the eyeball. And this is really bad, like, I downloaded a GIMP two days ago and I just figured out how to do this on my own, so. So now that we did that, we're going to take this finger smudge tool right here and pick this shape of brush. It looks, here let me show you, in a bigger size. It looks like this, uh, it's like just a wiggle shape and you can choose any one of these, but this, this brush, I found it works the best. So for me, I'm depending how big your project is, you're gonna wanna get a small or big size, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get a little smaller so that I don't mess up the eye. And now that it's small enough, I'm just going to start to, you can either click hold and stretch and let go, or you can just go like that and just try to get it blend it in. This may take a long time for you, this may not. And I'm just going to go like this and blend. Ugh. And you just keep doing that and doing that until you like it. So I'm just going to go up in like this kind of motion. And maybe if you want to blend this like so it's not like pointy, you can just go like this in a circular motion so that it blends in better. And as you can see, the eye is taking shape or form, I guess, I don't really know. <laughs> Make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see, I need a little bit lighter down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a lighter color. And again, you can maybe use the airbrush. If you wanna add like a little like light color but not draw it, you can use the, the airbrush tool with the same brush. Uh, and just click to make it a little lighter. Now you can blend that in with your darker color. Whatever. So now it looks a little bit blended a little better and I actually like it better, surprisingly. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow because yellow just lightens up the brown a little bit. So I'm just going to choose the airbrush tool and just like click few colors of yellow in there and just place it randomly and mm, smudge it again like that so then you get like a little yellow down here and I'm just gonna mix that in look and now it's looking all blurry and stuff but that's okay that's kind of what you want you want it to be smooth and blended and stuff and it made it look <laughs> kind of messing up that whole line but it's fine, it looks, it looks fine, it looks fine. Oh. <laughs> and now I'm going to add a little black as like the pupil, even though Minecraft people do not have pupils. That is, oh wait, I need the airbrush tool. That is fine. I'm just going to, I'm not gonna add like a lot of black. Just a little bit, so it's darker in the, in this area. And there, as you can see, it's an eyeball. You can tell. Sorry about my chair, if you can hear it, it's, it's really squeaky. So next we're going to shade a bit, I mean not, well, you can use this as shade if you want. Um, but you can also, I'm just gonna show you how to do this. So choose your skin tone color, and this is my color, and I'm gonna make it just a little tanner. This is as good, I don't really know. And so I'm just going to, go like this and you can actually draw it um, 
with the pencil tool. Uh, it probably makes it a little solider shadow, but I don't like solid shadows just because I don't think they look really like realistic. So, but if you want like a more solid blend, maybe you could do that. Oh God. And also to like, if I did that, uh, you can also hit Command Z to undo that on your computer. Okay, so as you can see, the shadow is taking form. And ta-da! So I'm just gonna blend it. I don't think I really want to, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna blend it just so it has smoother edges to it. And looks more like a shadow. There, it actually looks better as like blended like that because it doesn't show the lines. And and just do that. I hope this is a good tutorial. I can't really, I don't really know unless I watch it, but. And so yeah, you just do that and that is how you basically blend colors. Now if you want to blend like a rainbow together, this is the same exact thing, except if I want to blend like these colors together. Uh, let's do this. And I want to blend this together. I just go boop and blend. And that's what, and you can do this and basically do that with the Rainbow, if you're making a rainbow. I've actually made rainbows. Uh, and if you wanna make this hair, this is actually a really good idea for hair. So it doesn't look that solid. Just click and hold a little bit. And look, it looks like the hair is fuzzy. I don't, I don't know. And you just blend and blend. And it looks really, really, really nice if you want to do like realistic drawing or something on GIMP or import it in GIMP. This is a really cool way to do it. So let's add a little darker purple. Is this the same color? I don't really know. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to add like a little darker color like just here and then blend it and make this a bigger size brush. and. Blend so that it looks. Uh, actually, that's a really bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, it's really easy to do. But anyway, I'm just going to finish this up quickly, and you guys will get to see what it looks like in the end. Yay! Okay guys, so I'm just finishing up the last touches here and just putting some and black down here and maybe some right here. Actually, I'm just gonna undo that and put some black underneath here. And okay, so now I'm just gonna blend that into the skin and hopefully it looks good. There it looks like a little shadow, you can barely even see it, but that's the point of it. Oh god, that dark thingy ruined it right there, but it's fine. This is only in practice anyway, so. Look, it's so beautiful. There we go. And actually, I am going to take this light purple and put some 
dark stuff in there. Just a little bit though. I know I'm I only said I'm finishing up, but there's nothing like no shadows in this hair. So I'm just gonna blend that in. No shadows whatsoever. There needs to be like little shadows in there. I think that she looks amazing. So now to finish it off, I am going to, the color is going to be all the way white. Uh, I'm just gonna put little monster as like, who did that? Actually I'm putting, yeah, little monster productions. Productions, there we go, that's better. And we're gonna make that a little bit bigger like Here we go!